mentioned it earlier that pandemic, of course, has forced the local organizing committee yeah. to actually cancel, the not Nigeria postpone Open. the International Table Tennis uh, Nigeria Open and all that. So, man, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Another COVID-19 disruption. Uh, we look forward to this every August. It's always a buzz at the Teslin Balogun Stadium. The best of the best from different parts of the world come uh -huh. to Lagos to so play. The players. fans, you need to see the, it's electrifying. You see those set of, those number of persons come out to, you know, watch table tennis, but we won't get to see it again this year. Let's go uh, talk to the chairman of the local organizing committee for the Nigeria Open 2020 edition has been cancelled due to COVID-19. Waid Eniton Oshodi is the chairman of the local organizing committee, joins us now live on the program. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Uh, good morning, Austin. Cecilia, good morning. It's good to be on the show. It's good to have Hi. you on the show. Wow. What else can we say? COVID-19 shutting down everything. Now it's the Nigeria Open. How much of a loss is that to table tennis development, not just in Nigeria, but in Africa and the world? Well, I think it, it, it is a big loss this year for, for table tennis, um, for ATTF in Africa. Um, this is the biggest tournament in Africa. And um, more importantly, we use this tournament to develop the young players across the continent. It gives them a chance to mix with the best players in the world, to train with them, to play against them. And that opportunity um, is gone this year. Yeah, I mean, well, at least in, in, in the sense that we've always had it in Africa. So it's, it's, it's really difficult for us, especially in Nigeria, where we use this tournament as a driver for junior development, development of our young players. Um, so we, we, we would definitely need to look at seeing what we can do, hopefully later in the year. Hopefully things would ease up. We, we, we all pray things ease up very soon and um, the players can get back into action. And of course, you know, for the fans as well, they, they, you know, a massive number in Nigeria, all across Africa, they link up, up to this and it gives them a good chance to see their stars. So that's a big disappointment for everybody. But, you know, with the prevailing condition of things in the world, I think losing this tournament is, is really not such a big deal when you put it in context. Yeah, that's, that's the way it is. I mean, what's the economic uh, implication, financial implications of this uh, cancellation? <clears throat> you know, f um, financially, if you if you if you think about the loss to the players in terms of earnings, that's that that is a big drop, especially for Nigerian players who don't get this opportunity often to play at this level and make the kind of money they make during this tournament. But uh, even at at lower at an economic level too you know, to our whole city that pa our partners, the Lagos state government. Um, you have all these people coming in. This, this is what we call the tourist dollars. Um, the going that we won't be getting this year, at least at that level. And then, of course, the number of people that actually work on this event. I mean, you've worked with us over the years, especially Austin, and you know, I mean, we have over three, 400 people that work on this event. Um, they start work early in the year until the event finishes, doing different things, protocols, stewards, cleaning, you know, the technical staff, our umpires, international umpires that come in. Um, and that's a loss to all of them. Of course, there's also the marketing loss to our sponsors and our partners. Um, this is, you know, the, the, the coverage they get, the, the, the publicity they get. That, that's also lost. But like I said, um, you know, with, with, with the economy of things, hopefully down the line we will bounce back. The most important thing is the health of the participants. <clears throat> and um, I think, you know, dealing with uh, the advice we get from the ITTF's medical team, our own medical team, from the Lagos state government as well, you know, we, we realize that the more important thing now is to make sure people are safe and well. Uh, very, very important. Uh... Let's talk about some of the benefits of the Nigeria Open to uh, table tennis in this country. You talked about young players having the exposure. Uh, tell me the story of uh, some of the young players that have come out of this competition. You know, this, this competition is like, has been a big driver for the national team in Nigeria. Um, you know, lately, everybody is talking about the new All-African Games champion, Tayo. I mean, Jide has come through 
the Lagos scene, but this tournament has helped him, you know, in, in a great, great, great measure, playing against the best players in the world. It's given him the exposure to go abroad as a professional. And that's what we use this tournament for, especially for the younger players. They come through this tournament, they play against the best players, they train with them, they get exposed. And, and the scouts are there in the stadium, the international scouts, and quite a few of them go on to careers abroad. And we have quite a number of playing abroad now, professionally earning a good living. And, and that's really very important for us. For the younger, much younger players, it, it, it gives them an opportunity to train hard all through the year and, and find local sponsors as well to help them with their training. Because this tournament actually, even though it lasts for about five, six days, you know, it, it spans over three weeks in terms of the other things we do around it. And it, it brings a lot of the local, you know, people who were very grateful for individuals. And, you know, when you think about it, Austin, we, it, this tournament has probably the largest media coverage of any tournament in Africa across different sports. And it's made, it makes stars of the players, and that's very important in terms of what they will earn going down the line. Um, you know, young superstar now in Nigeria, probably um, the greatest prospect we have, Taiwo Mati, 15, 16 years old. He's come through this tournament for the last two, he's done very well against Europe, top European opposition. And I think right now he's on a training tour in Portugal. Hopefully a professional career beckons because we think, personally, I think from my experience, this, this is probably going to be the best player we've ever had in Nigeria. Interesting to note. You mentioned earlier that you guys are likely going to stage or organize another tournament towards the end of the year. What shape is that going to be? Well, I think more importantly for the NCTF, I'm speaking with the president who... I think he's really, really disappointed about the loss of this tournament. But for them, I think the more important thing is getting our junior players playing as well. I mean, they've been all been stuck at home now, and you know they'll go into the holiday period. Hopefully, we can get them playing the national junior championships. Very important tournament for us, um, especially now that we are the leading nation, at least in the boys category in Africa, top nation in the world. We need to keep that going. So we'll be doing looking hopefully to work with the Federation to do that, uh, do something in that regard before the end of the year. But what we're thinking about and working about is, we, we, you know, bringing a few top players back in some form or order, you know, top European, top Asian players to come here and play like an invitational tournament. Of course, you know, this also um, deprives Aruna the chance of doing a hat-trick of Nigeria Open, which hasn't been done in... Very, very few tournaments worldwide. So, you know, we need to bring Haruna back home. We need to bring Shelton Toriola back home. Um, Gide Omotayo. You know, since Gide has become the, the, the young superstar, he's now in Europe. Um, he needs to come back to his Lagos fans. And hopefully we'll be able to do a tournament around that. Some bright prospects across Africa as well. Now, Ivory Coast, um, Kenya, top young players coming through. So we'll be looking to do something in that regard. Three, four days, bring the best players to Lagos for a short tournament and um, keep the fans happy. Yeah, it sounds good. Let's, let's keep the fans happy and stay with the fans. Uh, there's just something about the yeah. Nigeria Open. Tell me about the way you guys package it because the moment I get into the hall, I feel the passion. <coughs> uh, what is it that we've injected into this competition that draws the fans to it every year? I think the, the, the word you've used is passion. That's, that's, that's really for everybody who works on this event, that they're so passionate about it, even the players who are coming through. But for me, I, I think it's always the guys at the, you know, behind the scenes, the guys who lift the tables, who, who do the hard work. You know, they, they, they just love doing that because the excitement the fans bring, um, it's, it's, it's really unbelievable. I've been watching sports in Nigeria all my, my life. You know, the, the, the passion you get in that hall is what we used to get at the National Stadium two years ago, you know, when, when the Eagles played. And, and I think that is the most critical thing. The ITTF talks about this tournament. It's so unconventional. You know, table tennis were like what, um, I think it was Roy King who said the prawn cocktail group or prawn sandwich group come in and clap quietly. That, that, that's table tennis all over, mostly all over the world, but not in Nigeria. You know, the drumming, the, 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 the crowd gives. Um, and that's what gives us that special feel about the tournament. 
but it's it's down to a lot of hard work. We've been, you know, this year alone, people have been working. January, February, we'd already started working with our sponsors, with our partners, and um, that's that's it. It's a lot of hard work for a lot of people, but the passion they have for the sport is, I think, what drives it. And you know, we have a great fan in you, Austin. I know um, you can't help but love it. So you know, we're really grateful to the fans and all the young young volunteers that assist us in this tournament. Mm. Roman said, thank you so much, Waid, and it's all shady for your time. Let's stay safe. Keep our fingers crossed. We'll beat COVID-19 and the Nigeria Open will be back. Thank you. Amen. That's, that's, thank you very much.